difficult for Kip to deal with. Certainly can be, yeah, and it kind of depends, because um, Palm definitely has some tools that are just kind of going to work on everyone. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, you don't really see a whole lot of Shovel Knight, so that could actually kind of catch Kib off guard, especially considering Shovel Knight, in my opinion, is actually pretty good versus like light characters, um, for the most part, at least. Yeah, I mean, and especially into characters like Palm, who don't have the easiest time approaching, if G's plays, you know, relatively whiff punish heavy or relatively reserved, you could find Kib struggling to get in. Yeah, for sure. Let's yeah. see how that goes, because really a lot of the time, like, Palm can also kind of just force you to approach. Mm -hmm. Could definitely become a very slow game of just who can, um, who can get that first stock. Yeah, but right now, as Kib's able to grab that first bit of percent, you know, things might start looking worse and worse for G's. Yeah. Not quite able to finish out the combo right there, but still keeping G's near the ledge. Yeah, and you have to be watching out for that Vince. Tom has such a good side B. Vince eats all projectiles, sets up into so many things. Downstrong going to be able to send G's off stage, put him in a rough position though. All right. And Not quite able to get that parry. He's once again off stage. Hasn't really been able to actually play neutral this game a whole lot. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the issues with Shovel Knight, right? Until you can get your gold, until you can get that cash money. It's so difficult to actually play the neutral and the mm -hmm. up air from Kib are going to be able to take stock number one. Yeah, Shovel Knight pretty much just inherently, like, one of the most snowball characters in the game, across the entire game, you know? Yeah. Makes him a really weird one in matchups like these, where Palm can just kind of shut down all your approaches. And I feel like Palm, not that I've seen, I haven't seen this matchup, but I feel like Palm would be really good at, at dealing with fishing, too. He yeah, as far as really fishing goes, it could be incredibly strong, and that record label is going to be able to do so much work for Kib here. So much control off stage, and as long as it's off cooldown, you can make as many as you want, but geez, making sure Kib goes straight into their lasso. Yeah, phenomenal catch right there. The edge guards are really what make or break Shovel Knight on top, you know, even more than those relics, in my opinion. Yeah, and if you've watched any of Jesus play before in Florida, this man is more than happy to go far, far out into the blast zone. Yeah. Speaking of which, almost manages to get it, but, but a tiny overextension, meaning that Jeep's Kib immediately gets a sock. Yeah, I just like, that's the that's type of stuff you're supposed to do with Shovel Knight, but since Palm can just move around freely in that no field, how do you get to her when she gets that up? Yeah, and the record label once again going to be able to allow Kib to cover so much space. She's in a lot of trouble here, able to stall for so long and able to miss mix up that parry timing. Yeah, I mean, Kim just throwing all the notes right now. There isn't really much of a gap for G to get back on stage. Yeah, and right now you can see it coming out in this play. G's doesn't really have an opportunity to get that armor, but does have an opportunity to get those ghost gloves. And while Ghost Subs are incredibly good in most characters, you have to be so careful about it into Vince. Yeah, I don't know if Gloves are really going to be the play versus Palm. Again, granted, I don't know much about this matchup, but I would just think Palm's able to stay in the air so much that Gloves aren't going to do you a whole lot. We'll see, though. I'd love to be proven wrong. Yeah, I mean, right now, you got those notes go coming in straight through the note field and straight through the top blast zone. Yeah. Kim going to take game number one convincingly. Yeah, I mean, geez, wasn't able to get anything from the shop until the last stock and at that point it just didn't do much of anything I'm, I'm definitely hoping that can change a little bit going into game two because those relics are inc incredibly important yeah you have to be so careful once shovel knight has those relics but geez really didn't get to shop until really late mm -hmm. and right now you know it's best of three you got four bands where are you gonna go spirit tree I don't know about that. that yeah, I'm that's not... probably one of Palm's best stages. That's a bold one. I don't think it's terrible for Shovel Knight, but I don't think it's the play here. Mm -hmm. Jules yeah. Veil? Vale? Hmm. All right. I mean, Jules Veil vale is one of Shovel Knight's best stages, and G's had a lot more control towards the later half of that game. Right. You know, you yeah. gotta go for that salty run there. Yeah. I mean, G's was certainly figuring it out as he went. Um, felt a lot stronger in that second half of the game. So. Yeah, and right now, Order are gonna put G's into a rough position, but. Kib hasn't been able to take a stock just yet. Oh, no. 
Pull down air coming out from G's here. Up air string, not going to be able to take off the top, but able to do a lot as far as Econ's concerned. Yeah. All I'm right. Taking the first stock with the up air. And Kip trying to follow with the up B, but up air is not going to be able to do it just yet. Jeez has so much in terms of money, in terms of a lead, and this these backers doing so much work. Yeah, and this is where that snowball could start rolling. Yeah, as like we said before, Shovel Knight's incredibly snowball. He's going to be taken off the top here. And probably neutral be to pick up those... Oh, wow, actually just opts to avoid any of that extra gold. Jeez does not have money on the mind, instead just looking to win this neutral game. All right, and they're, they're gonna be able to put him off stage in a rough position here, but that note feels so, so good at keeping her alive. Yeah, I mean, Jeez going for these fairs. That's a good option a lot of the time. Fair is super strong off stage, but Palm can just maneuver around it so much. Because Fair does like um, alter your momentum pretty heavily, so yeah. And Bear Fair from Kib going to put G's off stage. And right now, the game pace has slowed down a lot. G's has a lot of gold as far as this game's concerned, but doesn't have enough for Ghost Gloves. Yeah, G's isn't really going for any fishing at all, so he's kind of having to just rely on you know taking these stocks earlier. Not even necessarily taking them early, but just racking up damage fast. Yeah, and it seems very odd that Jeez is just opting to avoid any of that gold at all. Doesn't seem to be looking for relics in the slightest, Aww. and doesn't seem to be able to find a win. As Kib going to be taking it with a 2-0. Yeah.